welcome to ICSM Credit's latest news. In this video, Ian Carrots warns about the coronavirus, not about catching it, but about firms who may go bust due to the outbreak. Plus, avoid the dodgy debt collector, how to send a free legal letter, and get your money off a non-payer, the continued abuse of pre-packs, and what's behind the rise in insolvencies. First, Ian Carrot of ICSM Credit has issued a warning about the effects of an economic slowdown due to the coronavirus outbreak. He said those in the travel, the events and hospitality industries were already seeing a downturn in trade, so it was vital to keep a strict eye on credit control and not allow anyone, including big names, to pay later than your agreed terms. Within hours of that warning, Flybe went into administration. Paul Carrot heads up ICSM's Debt Collection Division, and he's issued a warning over a dodgy debt collector who contacts creditors of liquidated companies with a promise to get their money back. Rogen, the trading name of Redwood Business Management Limited, told John Parsons of Footprint Litho they would go after the directors of the firm that had gone out of business owing him money by charging them for wrongful trading. And they took a hefty £300 deposit. To cut a long story short, they claimed to have got Footprint Litho's money back, but needed a release fee, which was paid on the assumption that the lost cash would now be paid. It wasn't, and Rogen had no intention of even chasing Footprint's lost cash. It was a con. Rogen were wound up in the High Court last month. Next, Ian Carrot shows how to send a free legal letter to a customer who has failed to pay their invoices. And these free legal letters have about an 87% hit rate, so well worth doing one. First of all, we go to the ICSM website, which is at icsmcredit.com. Uh, we need to click on the Members tab and log in. OK, you notice the Functions menu on the left-hand side here. Um, we'll just concentrate on the legal letters for today. Uh, we go straight down to the legal letters, click on that, and you'll notice this is the uh, dialogue page for entering details of the debtor that you want to send a legal letter to. Over here on the right you'll notice uh, there are some samples. You can click on any of those which will show you just what the legal letter is going to look like. This one, uh, final demand, seven day final demand, a seven day notice of uh, legal proceedings, a proper, they're, they're both proper legal documents. Okay, if we want to send a letter, we'll send, I'll send one here to it. Debtor's email address. Well, I'm I want to show you what happens when we send this. So I'll use my email address. Let's use Ian at wagsites.com. And then there's an optional debtor's email address if you want to put more than one email address. Bear in mind this legal letter, when you hit send, when you've finished filling out the details, will go instantly to the debtor. The date it became overdue. Let's say 11th. What is it? A calendar there that you can choose if you wish. Uh, currency, well, uh, UK pounds will be the obvious one, but you do have a choice. You can use euros or US dollars if you wish. Amount outstanding, 6,895. Just for argument's sake, is it on stock or not? Well, you'd think if somebody owed you money and you've got to the stage of sending them an illegal letter, it would be on stock, but that's not always the case. So we give you a choice. Some people carry on supplying, even though they haven't been paid for something that they're now chasing. And then over on this side, we've got the choice of letter type. There's a final demand, which is probably the most popular. Breach of contract, which is a variation of the final demand and very popular indeed. Um, personal preference, entirely up to you. Confirmation email address. Well, I'll get the email to go to my ICSM email address. 
Now, at this stage, I quickly check over all the details I've entered. I'm happy, so I will press confirm. Check again. I'm happy. Send. That legal letter will land on the debtor's email inbox within minutes. If I want to see a copy of the letter that's been sent, I can download a copy here. And there it is. Ian Carrot has often spoken about the continued abuse of pre-packs. In an article in ICSM's Credit's latest newsletter, he has called on the new business secretary, Alok Sharma, to take another look at them. He said, when Mike Ashley bought the House of Fraser in a pre-pack for £90 million, the chain store dumped £450 million. It's small comfort to say pre-packs keep firms afloat, because they can still send suppliers to the wall as well. Now, last year saw a rise in insolvencies, with hundreds of firms going to the wall. ICSM Credit puts it down to Brexit uncertainty, an international slowdown in the trade war between the USA and China, and changes in lifestyle with a switch to online shopping and the rise in home entertainment. While this year, of course, coronavirus is affecting not only the Chinese economy, but it's having a knock-on effect globally. Well, that's all for now, but there's plenty more stories on the website and in the latest ICSM Credits newsletter, so make sure you subscribe to it. See you next time.